Thanks for tuning in. This is the life of the miner, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace fans on the RX 570 and 580 on a gigabyte. Uh, so uh, let's check this out. All right. Okay, so if your GPU fans have issues or if it stops working, it's better just to replace them yourself instead of RMAing it. The reason why is that if you RMA it, it may take a month or longer to get it replaced compared to if you just replace it yourself. It will just take, you know, the shipping time, which can take, you know, five to seven business days. Um, and it's very easy to replace the fans. I'm going to go ahead and show you in this video. Okay, so I do want to mention that I do have the Gigabyte RX 580s and 570s. And here's a picture of it right here. Um, I do ha also have the Gig Gigabyte RS's 580s as well. Now it's the same exact uh, type. Now it's just like, um, you know, Toyota and Lexus is the same parent company. Um, now the now the thing about these type of GPUs is the fans, they have issues or they just stop working. Now I do have 11 of these cards and out of the 11, two of them, the fans had issues and I had to get them replaced. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so if you own like the RX 570, 580 gigabyte, um, as you can see, if I flip this over, uh, this is a Gigabyte RX 570 or even a gig Gigabyte Aorus uh, RX 580 or 570. I just can't if I flip it around. And if you look before on the front of this, it has a Gigabyte fan instead of an Aorus fan because it did break and I did replace it. All right, so to replace the fans, you have to unscrew the faceplate off the GPU. And there are four screws. So there's this is the first one right here, as you can see. Uh, this is the second one right over here. And um, if you flip this GPU around, uh, the third one is right over here. And then of course, <clears throat> the fourth one is right over here. All right. All right, so that being said, what you want to do now is pull out your screwdriver and then, of course, unscrew those four screws I just showed you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. And of course, with the power of technology, I can go ahead and fast forward time. So let's go ahead and speed this up. Okay, so once unscrewed, uh, of course, uh, you'll get the four screws right here, as you can see. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. Uh, what I'm going to do, of course, is just take off the face faceplate and, of course, uh, show you what it looks like being taken off. All right, so check this out. All right, so once you take off the face paint, now um, you want to, of course, uh, get your screwdriver and then, of course, unscrew the fans off the face paint. Now, there are three on each uh, fan. So as you can see, there's the first one right over there. Uh, then you can see the second one right there. And the third one will be right on the bottom right over there. There, if you can see it, it's right there. But of course, let's go ahead and unscrew this uh, face, uh, the fan. All right. Okay, so once you uh, unscrew everything, now of course you will get six of the small ones because um, there are uh, three on each fan 
Now you just of course pop the fans right out and I'll go ahead and show you just like this. Alright, so it looks just like this once you pop out the fans. Now, <clears throat> of course, now what we want to do is order new fans. So let's go ahead and go to our computer and order some new fans. Alright. Okay, so now if you do want to go ahead and purchase the fans for the RX 570s or 580s, these are the ones you have to get. Uh, it has to be 87 millimeter and it has to be 39 millimeter in this in another length. And as you can see in this picture, um, it has to be 39 millimeters, just like that. Now, if you have a different GPU, just pull out a ruler and just measure it. Uh, so if you did measure this GPU, it would be exactly 39 millimeter. So um, you wanna get exactly this one right here. And it looks just like this. Um, and as you can see, if I scroll down, it says, uh, right, make sure uh, your video card will fit this uh, fan. All right. So let's go ahead and order this and attach this on my uh, graphics card. Okay, so once you get your new fans, you just pop it in like that. And as you can see, I already screwed it in. I put the fans back just the way it was. Um, so before I had a Oris fan on this, but uh, the only fans I could find were the Gigabyte ones. So I just put the Gigabyte ones on this GPU, but it's the same exact fan. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and plug everything in. All right, so then of course you want to go ahead and screw in all of the four screws, putting back on the faceplate. And then let me go ahead and show you where I screwed in all four screws. There's that one. And then there are three more coming up. And there you have it. The new fans are on and then let's go ahead and plug this on my mining rig all right so i did go ahead and put back the gigabyte and the gigabyte rs back on my mining rig this is my 12 gpu mining rig let's go ahead and turn this on all right all right so this is my uh, gpu rig running uh, so you can see the rs is right in the middle right there and my gigabyte is right up top as you can see right there and it's good to go and the fans are working great all right so that's basically how you replace the fans for the gigabyte rx 580s or 570s um and i'll actually have the link below so if you want to check that out but like I mentioned, make sure you double check the measurements and make sure you order the right fan for your GPU. Um, and of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.